What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my friends, subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aquarius, and you uh, enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free channel for the reading for sign of Aquarius. This can resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspect of your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the behavior of your charts. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're one subscriber away from 11-4, so... I appreciate all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the bomb.com. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of our chakra. Just saying. Okay. This can resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Haven, Jupiter charts. Spirit messages you have sign of Aquarius. Holy crap. Whoa. Okay, so the Hermit... Five of Cups, Reverse, Knight of Wands, Reverse, Seven of Wands, Upright. <clears throat> A very, 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 very high position, high authority, Aquarius. So, some have already let a Sagittarius go in the workplace. Some drugs, some manipulation of paperwork. Some are about to. Drugs and manipulation of paperwork. Oh my God, whoa. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Some is a Sagittarius, some is a Sagittarius and a Leo. Okay, whoa. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. So Sagittarius and Leo energy in here. Um, some it's drugs, some it's um, manip um, manipulation of um, paperwork. Some it's a Libra. Some it's a Libra. For so for some it's a Sagittarius, some it, some this has already happened. So some it's a Sagittarius that was let go. Some it was a Leo that was let go. For some it was a Libra that was let go. It sounds like for some of these people, it, they could have Sag, Libra, or Leo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Haven, Jupiter charts. Um, masculine or feminine energies. This this is past energy. If you Aquarius, sounds like you have done this in the past. Um, it could be recent past or past past. You plug it in how it resonates, but um, some, it was drugs. So they pop positive on the drug test. Maybe it sounds like you suspected some kind of drug use, or maybe you saw drug use on a camera or something of that nature, but somehow, or it was just a random drug test, but how that resonates, there was some kind of suspected drug use and they pop positive. I'm presuming suspected drug use and they pop positive on a drug test. So you had to let them go. Um, some it was a Sag, some it was a, um, a Libra, some it was a Leo, um, and some it was a Scorpio, and some it was a Scorpio. Oh my God, whoa. So some a Sag, some a Libra, some a Leo, some a Scorpio, uh, masculine or feminine. Um, some it was drugs and some it was some kind of manipulation of paperwork in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, it sounds like these people have already been let go in the universe. It sounds like you were the one that let them go. So it's either you're, you are the business owner or you, I feel you could be manager for very, 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 very high position of authority. So I feel you're either the business owner or you're very high in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I feel like CEO energy, um, executive energy or something of that nature uh, or manager or supervisor. Um, or boss. I mean, I'm serious. Very high level, like executive level. I feel executive level. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, but it sounds, I, these are not wrongful terminations. These are rightful terminations. Drug use and um, uh, some kind of alteration of paperwork, like manipulative alteration of paperwork for strategic reasons. Um, it sounds like these four people have already been let go. Uh, these are four signs I heard, but then upcoming, um, it sounds like it's about to happen to other people with these in their charts in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, drug use and manipulation of 
paperwork in some shape, form, or fashion. So all intentional manipulation and alteration of paperwork. Sounds like you're about to catch this Aquarius or someone connected to you is about to catch this and you are going to be the one to let them go um, or have a hand in letting them go. I heard Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, and um, who was the other one? Scorpio. So they could have Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts, masculine, feminine energies. Past energy, this has already happened to some. Upcoming, it's about to happen. But I feel you're going to be the one to tell them or you're going to have a hand in like boardroom energy or meeting energy or something of that nature to let them go. Oh, my God. So Hermit Upright, you've really been going within self-care, self-reflecting mode about the situation for the upcoming. And for some of you guys that's already happened, I'm sure you might be still reflecting on it. Um, but Five of Cups reverse, you have no regrets over. I feel the past energy over here. And upcoming energy, I'm sure you're going to have no regrets over it. Um, Nine of Wands reversed. Um, I feel this is the employees. Uh, I feel it's employee energy. No desire, no drive, no motivation. Um, some of them were hopped up on drugs in the past energy. For upcoming, they're hopped up on drugs in future energy. Um, and no desire to drive motivation as far as manipulation of some kind of important paperwork. Same for the upcoming future energy. Seven of Wands upright. You're about to stand up for this situation. You're about to um, create balance in the universe. I feel universal shifter energy here, and I pulled you guys in for a reading the other day. You guys are upcoming Aquarians. We're about to become universal shifters. Um, in the universe about to create balance in the universe because somebody has created off kilter energy in the universe and you're about to help make it better basically um so past energy standing up for the situation future energy standing up for the situation this is actually looking pretty good aquarian uh whoever you are um you're a high level aquarian i'll tell you that whoever you are you are a high level aquarian you have a lot of, um, but I feel you are upright individual. <clears throat> you might not have been in the past, but you are definitely now, whoever you are. Um, you're a high, upright individual. Now, being upright in the throw is not about money. It's not about clout. It's not about status. It's not about fame or fortune. Even though I do feel you are very, probably very wealthy and very affluent, um, I think you are upright as well. I think you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, loyalty, integrity, and values. Absolutely. Um, this looks good. You plug it in how it resonates. Wow. I haven't done sign readings in approximately three months. So um, it's nice to get some good energy out. Okay. Let me see if I hear anything else before I close it. Let's see. For some, you can be dealing with the Virgo as well because this is Virgo energy in here. And then... Um, yeah, this Virgo energy, just saying. A particular Aquarius is about to get into a very severe conflict with an Aries. Very severe. It is not going to go well for this Aries. You know they are a liar. For some, it is a pregnant feminine Aries. For some, it is a masculine Aries. For some, it is a feminine Aries not pregnant. Ooh, Aries energy. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, what a reading already. We're not even 10 minutes in. Okay, so one of you guys is about to get into a severe verbal conflict with an Aries. Um, now, whoever this Aries is in your life and how they resonate, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you, you only plug the messages in that resonate and don't force the messages if they don't fit. Um, but it's some kind of Aries energy. It's at least three Aries in the universe. So you have to plug yourself in with the situations, how they resonate, if they do apply for you. 
One I heard is a fem pregnant Aries. One, it is a masculine Aries, so masculine parts. One, it is a feminine Aries, fem parts. Not pregnant over here. This one is pregnant, this one is not pregnant, and then a masculine Aries. I heard you know they're a liar. And I heard you're right. So you're highly intuitive, you know they're a liar, and you're about to get in a severe verbal conflict with them. So I don't feel it's like knuck it to your bucket, weird um, physical altercation. I feel it is a verbal conflict because I feel you're about to call them out. I feel you're about to call them out um, on something. And I'm serious about that. Um, I think this is the Aries energy. Uh, yeah, you're going within self-reflecting about this situation. You know they're a liar. You're highly intuitive. You know they're a liar. No regrets about to call this Aries out. Whoever it is, whether it's a pregnant femme Aries, a not pregnant femme Aries, or a masculine Aries, this is the Aries energy in here. No desire, no desire, driver motivation towards you. I feel they might pop back in the mouth to you, possibly, for some of them. Um, and you're going to stand up for a situation. I heard you know they're a liar. You know they are. So you either have actual evidence in the 3D to prove they're a liar, or you just know it inside yourself. Um, and you're about to call them out to kind of see what they say, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. Heavy Aries energy in here. Uh, I heard it's not going to go well for them. It's not going to go well for the Aries. So you, I think some of you guys have something substantial on them. I think you have something very substantial on them in some shape, form, or fashion. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Spirit messages you have sign Aries. I'm sorry, not Aries, um, Aquarius. Spirit messages you have sign Aquarius. Way too many, way too many. Maybe somebody's emotional over um, whoever, whatever Aquarians I'm pulling in here, you're about to make some big power play moves. I just want to say that. You're about to make some big power play moves. So I think somebody's about to be very, very emotional over these big power play moves. Because whoever this is for, I don't feel it's happened yet. I feel it's about to upcoming in the universe. But I am pulling, I mean, good Lord, that's four cards. So I feel somebody's about to be uh, emotional over this. I think these Aries, I think these people are about to get terminated. Um, I mean, you're about to make some big power play moves here. Um, so I feel they're about to be emotional. Or... This also could um, represent um, addictions, dealing with someone with addictions. And the first message um, included people on drugs in a workplace situation. So that could be this too, um, dealing with somebody with addictions, i.e. drug addictions. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, my Lord. But it, it sounds like one of you guys is about to clean house or help clean house. And I'm serious about that. Spirit messages, you have to sign up Aquarius. Oh, hold on. Let me reshuffle real quick. An Aquarius is about to gain a whole new respect for a Leo feminine very soon. They have been severely, severely, severely lied to about this person. Some are learning the truth. Some have already learned the truth. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So Leo feminine energy in here too. You're pulling in a lot of signs, Aquarius. A lot of signs. I heard take them. Okay, those four. Um, you're pulling a lot of signs. Aries energy. Um, the four signs about to get terminated and Leo feminine energy. Um, I heard you're about um, whoever you are that resonates with this particular Aquarius uh, message, Aquarius. I heard you, um, some have already gained a new respect for Leo Femme. Some are about to. Um, they could have Leo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Um, whoever this Leo Feminine is in your life and how they apply in your life. Um, I heard some of you guys have already, it sounds like, just recently gained respect for them because you've already learned the truth. Some you're about to because you're about to learn the truth, the real truth, because I heard you've been lied to about this Leo Femme so bad. So, um whoever this Leo feminine is in your life, they could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, midham, or Jupiter. You plug this Leo fem in your life, however they resonate in your own particular situation in life. But kudos to you, um, gaining new respect for this person, um, you know, changing your viewpoint with the actual truth and possibly evidence for some 
of these Leo fans um, and changing your view, viewpoint and perspective with the truth. Um, kudos to you, because some people, even when they know the truth, they still go by what other people want them to do. And I don't care what sign you are. And that's just the truth. It really is not about your sign. It's about how you choose to grow and manifest what information you have, how you conduct yourself and what you do uh, in the universe. And that's the truth. So my hats off and kudos to whatever Aquarius this is, if that message applies to you. It's a Leo feminine energy. So I feel they have vaginal parts and they could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine hair, Jupiter. Okay, so we have Six of Swords upright, the Hang Woman upright, Nine of Swords reversed, Princes of Wands upright, Ace of Cups reversed. A particular Aquarius is about to get a huge, huge, huge wake up call about a particular Libran energy for some, some a Capricorn energy. It's about to cause them to take great action, great action. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So Libran and Capricorn energy, you, my goodness, Aquarius, you are pulling in a lot of signs in here in your reading, a lot of signs. So, of course, you only take the messages that apply and let the rest fly, but um, you plug it in, how it resonates. But whoever you are, you're about to get a huge wake-up call about a particular Libran for some, some of Capricorn, for some it could be both energies. Um, but Whatever this huge wake-up call energy is, and that's the Six of Swords with the Hang Woman Upright energy right there. Because enlightenment, um, quick, and I feel this is the information about this um, Libra or Capricorn or both. It can be a masculine or feminine leaves, masculine or feminine caps. Um, they could have Libra or caps in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or feminine Hammer, Jupiter charts. But how that resonates, this is the information about to come to you with about these people, masculine or feminine leaves or caps. And you about to be enlightened. This is enlightenment energy. So hang woman upright. You're about to be enlightened about the situation with information. Um, I heard it's going to give you a huge wake up call, but then you have nine of swords reversed. So whatever information this is, it's about to relieve some stress, anxiety, worry, fear about person, people, place, or situation. Um, and, and then you have princess of wands upright, ace of cups reversed. Heart's going to, um, you're going to take great action once you get this enlightenment, enlightenment about this Caps or Libra, um, whoever they are in your life. So I think this is the great action you're about to take. I think this is your energy here, even though you're an air sign, you're about to take on fire sign energy because uh, everybody takes on different elements in the in their life. Um, everybody takes on fire, water, earth, and air energy at some point in their life. Um, and that's just the truth. So I think this is your energy about to take on fire sign energy. Um, desire, drive, motivation, forces, situation because of the enlightenment here of this Capricorn or Libra. Um, Ace of Cups reversed. Some is huge wake up calls regarding fraud. Some of these fraud situations are being handled behind the scenes right now. Some you already knew about it, some you're about to learn about it. Some, the Capricorn and Libra, were the frauders. Some, a uh, particular Libra, helped amend this. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, holy crap. Okay, so frauding energy in here. So I heard some Libra and Caps were the frauders in this situation. But one particular Libra helped amend this fraud situation. Um, some of you guys knew about this fraud situation already. Some you're about to learn about it. And that could be the enlightenment energy for the ones about to learn about it. Um, so it's it was the fraud situation is being amended behind the scenes in some of these situations. Um, 
And one particular Libra is helping amend this fraud situation, apparently, behind the scenes for the ones that already knew about it. But for some of you guys upcoming, you're about to learn about this fraud situation. Um, wow. And then Ace of Cups reversed. It is about to cause huge blockages for this Libra and Capricorn frauders. Huge. And severe legal issues coming up. A particular Aquarius is about to help make this happen. They're tired of crime skyrocketing in their city. For some, a Gemini was involved. Okay, so, oh my God, so you plug it in, how it resonates, my God. Okay, so for some, a Gemini was involved um, in some of these situations, for some not, it sounds like. So, heavy Libran and Capricorn energy frauders, for some, a Gemini was involved, for some not. So, um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, but I heard blockages, heavy blockages are about to be put up for this um, Libra and Capricorn frauder energies. Um, and some of you Aquarians are about to help be the universal shifter energy here to help set up blockages for the um, Capricorn and the Libran frauder type people, and in some cases, Gemini, in some cases. Um, of course, you have to plug these situations in, how they resonate, if they do resonate for you. Um, because uh, you're I heard you're tired of crime basically escalating in your city. So whoever, whoever you are, and this message resonates, I feel you either reside in a city I don't feel it's an urbanized area. I feel it's a, um, I'm sorry, I don't feel it's a ruralized area. I feel it's an urbanized area, like a city and developed area. Um, and um, you either reside in this city or you work in this city, however that resonates, but you're tired of the crimes. It sounds like the crime is just basically skyrocketed in this particular city. You either work in or reside in or both. Um, and you're tired of it. You're tired of it and you're going to help, it sounds like, create blockages for these people. Um, you're going to be universal shift or energy to help create blockages. Now, however you're going to help create them, it could be um, releasing information on these frauders because some you already knew about the situation and it, um, maybe you work behind the scenes with this Libra to help amend some kind of situation, paperwork or, um, or something else to help amend it, the fraud situation. Um, for others, you're about to learn about it, but um, it could be information. It could be official reporting energy. It could be maybe, um, I feel I'm pulling in a very, a lot of affluent Aquariuses in here, and I'm just being serious. I, I'm serious. Whoever this reading so far, whoever these, this readings are for, I mean, this reading is for, I feel a lot of affluent Aquariuses. I feel money, stature, um, I'm serious, um, whoever you are, but I feel upright affluent energy here, which is beautiful, beautiful. Um, but you're about to be universal game changer energy here is what I'm trying to say in a positive sense, in a positive sense. I mean, and I'm so glad because I've been reading almost two years now on here, on YouTube, almost two years. And the first year I was pulling in fraud. I was pulling in theft. I was pulling in weird sex videos, weird boyering. Someone so created the Secret Seven situation. I mean, I was it's I was pulling it all in uh, addictions, addictions, addictions. I mean, I was pulling it in, I was pulling it in, I was pulling it in, but it wasn't. It was like none of it was getting resolved. If that makes sense. Now it sounds like it's starting to get resolved, um, which is good. Which is good. Which is good. So, um, but I think whoever this is for is what I'm trying to say. I think you're about to help resolve it. Now, how are you going to help resolve it? You could use your um, affluence, position, title, um, good name in the community, um, maybe your work title in a positive non-abuse um, of power way to help it, um, or um, or some other way. Maybe it's official reporting energy, um, information, or something of that nature. Um, but somehow, whoever you are, if this resonates for you, you're about to, you're about to help it. Um, this is the blocking energy for the frauder um, a Capricorn and Aquarian, I mean, I'm sorry, not Aquarian, Capricorn and uh, Libran Frauder, and in some cases, Gemini, and this is you taking the action to help, um, but there was a very significant, there is a very significant, I'm sorry, Libran energy um, behind the scenes that is helping amend this, and so that's good, that's good.
Let me see if I hear anything else. And I feel that person is affluent as well. I feel they're affluent and I feel they are very high vibrational. I feel very good energy from this. A particular Aquarius is going to be very significant in a particular lawsuit soon. A very successful lawsuit. Going to help a client. Oh my Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So, okay, well, we're going to help a client. So I think you're a lawyer. At least one of you guys, I think you're a lawyer. I heard you're going to help a client. So I think you're an Aquarian lawyer um, or a paralegal. I've, I think you work in the legal sector. So I feel you're either a paralegal or you are a lawyer. Lawyer. Um, that's exactly what I think. I heard going to help a client and in a lawsuit. So yeah, I mean, you're not a judge. You're either a paralegal or you are a um, lawyer. However, that resonates is what I'm feeling. But I heard you're about to help a very significant client soon in a very um, significant lawsuit. I heard it's going to be winning. So you plug it in, however, that resonates, if that resonates for you, Aquarius. Wow, oh God, we're at 26 minutes. Okay, let me pull some tea leaves and then I'll quit blabbing. This was such a good reading though. Spirit messages you have a sign of Aquarius. A particular Scorpio is going to try to plead their case to a particular Aquarius soon, but this this um, very low vibrational Scorpio. But this um, Aquarius is not going to have sympathy for this person. They know the real truth. Now. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius? Man. Um, low vibrational scorpionic energy. It can be a masculine or feminine Scorpio. They could have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, Hayward, or Jupiter charts. But whoever this low vibrational Scorpio is in your life, um, I heard they're going to try to plead their case to you. So they're going to try, you know, they want you to hear them out, basically. Uh, they want you to hear them out. But I heard you're basically not going to have any empathy for the situation because you know the real truth now. So um, it sounds like some kind of real, well, obviously real truth energy. Hold on one second. Um, that um, is either already been displayed to you or is about to be displayed to you. Um and so you're not going to have any empathy for the situation because I think um, this low vibrational Scorpio, um, they're going to try to snow you over, I think, with their words. One is going to try to cry to you, but you will see right through it. Oh, my God. I heard one is going to try to cry to you. So one low vibrational Scorpio is going to try to cry to, I guess, make their case stronger to you. I think they're going to try to play on your emotions, and that's why they're going to cry. Uh, but I heard you're going to see right through it. And you have a star card, which is your energy anyways. Guaranteed success. Yeah, wow. I am pulling in some very high vibrational, very affluent, very upright Aquarians in here. Um, that's good. Really good. Will and decisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. One particular Aquarius is very distraught of the past. They they are probably going to seek mental health treatment soon. Masculine Aquarius. Really been struggling with mental health issues recently. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well that well then but even this one is a good one. At least they're going to take responsibility for their mental health and go get some treatment. I mean, so even this is a good one, in my opinion. Um, if you, you know, if you need it, you know what I'm saying? Um, but whoever this is, it's a masculine Aquarius. And, you know, you could be another Aquarius connected to this masculine Aquarius, possibly. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. But it's a masculine Aquarius is apparently struggling with some kind of mental health issues. Um, I heard they're about to um, get some mental health treatment. So... 
I don't know if they're going to check themselves into a mental health institution or if they're going to start getting counseling or therapy or something of that nature. Um, or maybe it's all those things. I'm not sure, but um, I heard they've really been struggling with mental health issues recently because it's some kind of situation in the past. So they've been very indecisive and they've been basically, I feel they've been allowing their life to ramble aimlessly. Um, I feel they just can't, uh, it's like they, they probably don't, something has happened in the past to um, make them this way. Um, but in all fairness, things happen to people all the time. Hell, hell I was gang stalked for years. Um, if I allowed that to um, rule, rule my life, I'd be living in here in fear <laughs> all my days. You know what I'm saying? But I choose not to do that. I choose not to do that. I choose to live. I choose to freaking live, man. And um, I choose to get my life on track, you know. Um, but everybody has a choice to make. And But this masculine Aquarius is really struggling from something that has happened to them. And I just use my gang stalking of me of the past to, because I, whatever has happened to them, I think it was something serious. And, you know, gang stalking is serious. So that's why I kind of relate that. But it's like they... it's. They don't, it's like they're not grabbing opportunities in life by the horn. It's like they're choosing to, you know, but, and I'm not judging. I'm not judging anybody. I'm just saying everybody handles and copes differently. So this person though, it sounds like they're finally are about to start going to get some mental health treatment. Um, maybe this for some, they already are getting therapy or counseling and maybe they need, um, maybe they feel they need behavioral health inpatient or possibly something like that, possibly. Possibly. And I'm not judging anybody um, at all. It's a Aquarius masculine. So even this one, in my opinion, is not too bad. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Someone is getting a huge wake up call. Another high vibrational Aquarius. Okay. I heard someone's getting a huge wake up call. Another high vibrational Aquarius. So you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you high vibrational Aquariuses is getting a huge wake up call. Maybe about this. Uh, maybe you know this Aquarius masculine. Um, Possibly. I'm not sure. Guarantee success. Okay, I didn't hear anything, but I just want to say, with this Aquarius masculine about to take control of their mental health, um, I think there's going to be a successful outcome here. I think there's going to be a successful outcome. Um, hopefully, at least. I'm serious. Um, I do. I think there's going to be, because... Um, Sometimes things happen to people that should not happen to them, um, i.e. the gang stalking of me for years. That shouldn't have happened to me. Um, I didn't welcome the gang stalking to happen to me. I didn't want it to happen, but it did. It did. And I can't change the past. I can't change that it did happen. I can just move forward, except that it didn't move forward. But I think this person, they're about to accept, take responsibility for their mental health. And they're about to get some help. They're about to get some help. And I think it's about to, um, I think it's about to help them um, and create success here, is what I think. But I heard another one of you guys is getting a huge wake up call. I think about this person. I think you might know this person, possibly, um, for some. A particular Aquarius is about to really, really get on it soon. Some on a very important case. About to wrap it up soon. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So a very important Aquarius, whoever you are. A, a lot of case energy in here. I feel a lot of you guys are lawyers. Possibly or paralegals, a lot of case energy, and I'm serious. Um, or you could be, or you could be a client of these cases. However, that resonates, but or family members connected to these cases. Um, but a lot of case energy. But um, I heard a very important case is about to be wrapped up soon. Um, you're about to really get on it. So maybe you allowed this case to allow um, ramble aimlessly in the past. Maybe. Um, it got delayed. Maybe you helped delay it or maybe somebody else intentionally helped delay it. It sounds like this case was delayed 
with the wheel energy. Um, maybe intentionally, maybe not. But how that resonates, um, at least one of you guys, you're about to start getting on it. I think you might be a lawyer or a paralegal or a client in this case or a family member connected to the ca this case. But it's a very important legal matter case. Um, and I heard it's about to start moving fast. So that could be the guaranteed success too. I feel delay energy here. Um, whether it was intentional or not, you have to plug in your own situation how it resonates, but it's about to start speeding up. And I heard fast and it's going to be successful. So maybe you were a lawyer that's about to help win this case. Maybe you were, that's what I'm thinking for some. Um, or you're going to help this case get won um, with some kind of information. You plug it in, how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. There's about to be a very significant power outage in an Aquarius's life soon. Many shocking series of chain events are going to occur during this. It's going to give them a huge wake up call. Well, that's interesting. Holy crap. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is a long reading and I'm sorry, but this is just where we're at. So a very significant power outage in an Aquarius's life soon. So. I heard it's going to give you a huge, uh, several shocking series of chain of events are going to occur during this very significant power outage, and it's going to give you a huge wake up call, Aquarius. So I think you might be in the building or buildings or place or what have you. Um, it might be in a personal home. It might be in a public space. Um, I'm not sure, but some kind of power outage energy, uh, personal, uh, I'm sorry, private home dwelling or public space. But um, it sounds like it's going to affect a lot of people. Um, I didn't hear that it was, but it sounds like it's going to because several shocking series of chain events are going to occur. So I think many things are going to happen to this power outage. If it was at a home, personal home dwelling and one person was in the home or two people were in the home, you know, probably the shocking series of chain events is them calling the um, friggin' uh, utility company reporting power outage. And that's probably as shocking and as he did as it gets but i think this is um either in a home involving a lot of people or in a public space or a public building or something of that nature or outdoor space but it's some kind of significant power outage and it sounds like it hasn't happened soon um but it's about to give you a huge wake-up call because of the shocking series of chain events that are about to occur during the power outage so something is going to give you a huge wake-up call during this power outage um, that's about to light bulb moment you in some shape, form, or fashion. If that resonates for you, Aquarius. Okay. Well, I think we're done. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.